Hi, this is Interghost, and today I'm going to be doing the top 10 games of 2012. However, most of the games on this list are actually from 2011. The reason being is I'm a cheapskate, and I don't buy many games on release date. So the majority of games which I brought as new games for 2012 are actually 2011 releases. So really, it's the top 10 games of 2011 and 2012. So kicking off at number 10, we've got Duke Nukem Forever. This was a game which was released in June, the 10th of June 2011, and it was the follow-on to Duke Nukem 3D. Although this was a long time in the making, I think it was well worth the wait. Maybe it was a few years too late, as it didn't stand up to other first-person shooter games. But for me, it kept the humour of the Duke Nukem games, and I think it's a game well worth picking up because you can get it for about £5 nowadays. So at number 9 we've got a, uh iPhone game and it is The Simpsons Tapped Out. And now this is the game which was released on the 29th of February uh, this year, 2012. And it's basically a town or village building game on the phone. And you have to rebuild Springfield and do all the little side quests from like characters from the Simpsons program. And it's a free game, but you can opt to spend real money to buy uh, donuts, which are the currency for building bigger and better buildings in the game. So, at number 8, I've got a good game for the PlayStation 3, and it's Dishonored. Now, this is a game which was released late in the year, uh, the 12th of October 2012, and I believe this game got a bit too much hype, and uh, that's why I've only got it at number 8 on the list. Although it's a really good game, it's very short, and uh, you can complete it within a couple of days. And um, after completing it, I did sell the game, and I'll probably be buying it back when the game price has dropped. But well worth picking up, and very good art style in the game. So, number 7 on the list. We've got Skylanders Spyro's Adventure, which came out on the 14th of October 2011. Uh, really sp- uh, Skylanders Giants as well. Now these are games which uh, I got for my son Leo and they're really good children friendly games and you probably know all about it but you buy a pack which has a portal of power and you can buy action figures which you put onto the portal and then they come alive in the game. Really good um, idea for a series of games and me and my son really enjoy playing through this one. So, at number 6, we've got The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, which came out on the 18th of November 2011. Now, I really love Zelda games. However, the reason this is only at number 6 and not near the top is because I think the Zelda series is getting very um, repetitive now. They keep saying that the new Zelda games are a big leap forwards in using uh, graphics and technology, but I just feel that the story isn't really going anywhere anymore. And you basically have to do the same things every time you play a Zelda game now. So still really good as it's a Zelda title, but nothing different. And um, probably worth buying if you can get it cheap. So at number 5 we've got Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Now this is another game which came out on the 11th of the 11th, 2011. So um, really good marketing plan there. Uh, This is another game which was really hyped up, and I think it did measure up to the hype, but um, I still like Oblivion more than Skyrim, although Skyrim is a brilliant game. I just found it a little bit dull, um, not much variation to the scenery, it was all sort of set in the mountains and you didn't really feel like you were travelling anywhere. Another game I I played through and completed, and I'll be getting it back once they bring out a Game of the Year edition. At number four is a game which I got quite quite recently. Um, It was released on the 12th of October 2012, but I got it in November for my birthday, and it was XCOM Enemy Unknown. Now this is a remake of an old game on the PC and PlayStation 1, and it's a really good game. Um, Not quite as good as the originals, but really good to see what they've done with it, and they've... um, updated it to the next gen graphics and that sort of thing really good fun and uh, if you like your strategy games then you'll really love this one so check it out 
So number three, this is Dead Island. Now this is the game which had one of the best game um, commercials ever. And again, I think this hyped it up a little bit too much for people. And I think they was expecting a bit too much from it. But personally, I found this game really good. And it was a break from the norm, from the normal first person shooter games. And it relied a lot more on melee combat and combining different weapons like baseball bats and uh, nails to make a new weapon and you get around uh, open world island beating up zombies so what else can you say about that it was released on the 9th of September 2011 and it's still very playable today number two almost at the top spot uh, just beaten by the one at number one but this was a brilliant game not quite as good as the original but um, for a sequel it did the same as the original but put it into an open world and it's Batman Arkham City. Now this was released on the 21st of October 2011. So this is another really good game which I completed. And I've now got the Game of the Year edition and it's a really cool game. You can play as Batman, Robin, Catwoman, Nightwing. And um, like I said it's much like the original game. But instead of inside the as asylum you're actually um, in a whole city. So really good game. And finally, at number one for 2011-2012, it's actually a game which came out late in 2011, and it is Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. This was released on the 2nd of November 2011, and much like the other Uncharted games, very hard to beat this. It's such an amazing game. Graphics are amazing, stories unbelievable, and characters are just uh, spot on, complete with um, really good music and controls there's not much wrong you can say about this game the only thing i would say is they've gone a little bit away from the gameplay and concentrated more on like the cinematic experience of the game uh, you'll find that the first um uncharted game has a lot of sort of puzzles and more gameplay aspects and then they've sort of gone away from that and just concentrated a lot on the big movie feel for the game which isn't a bad thing and it's still one of the best games ever made. So thanks for watching. Let's hope there's some really good games in 2013. Although I'll probably be picking up um, a lot of games from 2012 which I couldn't afford. But um, yeah. Happy